caseine alteration due to heat treatment hello guys this is my seminar topic now let's see what is caseine in cow's milk approximately 82% of milk protein is caseine and the remaining 18% is serum or whey protein the casein family of protein consists of several types of caseins the caseins are suspended in milk in a complex called micelle role of casein casein is a slow digesting dairy protein people often take as a supplement it releases amino acids slowly so people often take it before bed to help with recovery and reduce muscle breakdown while they sleep several studies have shown it helps boost muscle growth along with a ton of other benefits casein micelle casein micelles which constitute approximately 80% of the protein in bovine milk comprise four types of caseins alpha s1 alpha s2 beta and kappa casein in combination with appreciable quantities of micella or colloidal calcium phosphate which is also known as ccp casein micelles are at the core of the dairy industry and their physical chemical properties make them valuable in a wide number of applications casein micelles are stable but not fixed structures and they are capable of withstanding the severe treatments commonly associated with dairy processing however certain conditions can dissociate or aggregate micelles resulting in structural or property changes the extent of dissociation or aggregation of association of casein protein from the micelles depended on the composition of the solution as well as the temperature and duration of the heat treatment the caseins have a relatively random open structure due to the amino acid composition the high phosphate content of the casein family allows it to associate with calcium and form calcium phosphate salts the abundance of phosphate allows milk to contain much more calcium than would be possible if all the calcium were dissolved in solution thus casein proteins provide a good source of calcium for milk consumers the sixth casein is made of a carbohydrate protein attached to the protein chain is located near the outer surface of the casein micelle here i have given a structure of casein micelle in which the circular regions demonstrate the submicelles and the dotted region demonstrate the calcium phosphate and the ribbon like structure demonstrate the kappa casein peptide chain so casein micelles are believed to be formed by the aggregation of the sub micella particle which include alpha s1 alpha s2 beta and kappa caseins and also the calcium phosphate salts now let's see heat treatment heat treatment is one of the essential operations widely used in most dairy products process for their improving the technological functional properties of dairy products or ensuring their safety and shelf life the heat stability of milk is an essential property for the production of a wide range of heat treated products casein is the main protein in milk and found as a self associating colloid called casein micelles in modern dairy technology milk for all product is subjected to heat treatment which may range from mild for cheese milk to severe for ultra high temperature products and sterilized milk it is well known that heat treatment affect the milk protein in some way moreover severe heat treatments can lead to milk coagulation the effects of heat on casein have been studied extensively but data on the separated casein fractions are limited in general the caseins are much more stable to heat treatment than whey protein studies on the heat induced changes in separated casein fractions will afford information on the heat induced changes of milk protein especially on the mechanism of heat coagulation of milk this relatively high heat stability has been attributed to the lack of ordered structure that the casein exhibit and to the low content of sulfur containing amino acids in the caseins which reduces the possibility of polymerizations by interaction of the sh group although the caseinate is remarkably heat stable system it does succumb eventually to the multitude of coagulations promoting changes at elevated temperatures the possibility that the changes of kappa casein will take place it is quite probable that the changes of kappa casein is one of the major factors which cause the heat coagulation of normal milk if it is assumed that the changes of kappa casein in milk proceeds in a similar way to that in the isolated form during the processing of some products such as evaporated milk which is subjected relatively to severe heat treatment is well known 
Recently, kappa casein fraction, which has a key role on the missile stabilizing action, was isolated and investigation on its stabilizing ability have progressed. Suggestions have been provided that heat-induced changes in caseins have important relations to the heat stability of milk. Here I have given a picture for you to better understand. On the left side of the picture is given the condition of the milk and the casein milk prior to the heat treatment and on the right side you can see the condition of the casein missiles in the milk after the heat treatment. Here heat treatment is done on a constant temperature, on a constant temperature time okay it is the time on a constant time 15 minute within the variance of temperature ranges 30 70 and 90 degrees celsius so time is kept constant and the temperature ranges are changed like 30 degrees celsius 70 degrees celsius and 90 degrees celsius and you can see the association and aggregation of casein missiles on the right side of the pictures okay now next comes the acid induced heat treatments. Milk along with the addition of acid content were heated for 5 minutes at 70, 85, 100, 120 and 140 degrees Celsius. After heating the fractions were subjected to various analysis. This point is made on based on a report on a study report. This effects have been studied of a heat treatment of skim milk at temperatures from 70 to 90 degrees Celsius on the dissociation of caseins and minerals from the missiles during acidification at 5 and 22 degrees Celsius. The amounts and types of caseins that were dissociated depends upon the pH and temperatures of acidifications and heating. When acidification was carried out at 5 degrees Celsius, more caseins were dissociated in the heated milk than in the unheated milk. The reverse occurred after acidifications at 22 degrees Celsius. Heating the casein missiles dispersions that were free from Serum proteins had no effect on casein dissociation during acidification as 22 degrees Celsius, but an effect similar to that observed for heated milk was apparent at 5 degrees Celsius. Solubilization of calcium ions, inorganic phosphate and magnesium from the missiles during acidifications remained largely unaffected by heat treatment of milk. Heat treatment of milk appeared to weaken the interaction force between casein components within the missiles and consequently missiles dissociated more readily when pH was lowered at low temperatures. At higher temperatures, disassociation was compensated to a large extent by the introduction of new crosslinks within the missiles through hydrophobic interactions between the whey protein and casein components. Here I have made a graph for you to understand the casein dissociation within the variance of temperature ranges. Okay, so this graph is made casein dissociation versus temperatures. On the left side on the y axis you can see the casein dissociation ranges and on the x axis you can see the temperature ranges. So when when the temperature was kept up to the 5 degrees Celsius only 5 degrees Celsius the casein dissociation was observed to be in the imaginary value 3. You can see it on the left side. But when the temperature was increased up to 10 degrees Celsius and later on to 20, to 20 degrees Celsius, the dissociation was observed to be decreased. It was a gradual and eventual de uh, decrease observed. But later on, when the temperature of milk was lowered up to minus 5 degrees Celsius, a drastic increase in the casein dissociation was observed. So the points to be noted that casein missiles relatively stable to heat but by the association with acid on heat treatment the interaction forces between the casein missiles starts to weaken eventually. At 5 degrees Celsius and addition of the acid the casein showed dissociations when compared to the normal unheated milk. When temperature increased at 20 degrees Celsius within the presence of acid no distinct association dissociation occurs. Heat treatment of reconstituted low heat SMP which is skim milk powder at 80 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes result in 90 percentage of denaturation of whey proteins in heated reconstituted low heat SMP most of the denatured whey proteins were associated with the casein missiles reconstituted milk adjusted to pH 7 prior to heat treatment had a lower proportion of whey protein associated with the missiles 
In milk containing SWSDWP is a considerable proportion of the beta lactoglobulin was apparently associated with the casein missiles. This was due to some of the larger denatured whey protein aggregates co-sedimenting with the casein missiles. Heating milk at high pH resulted in lower amount of whey protein associated with the casein missiles. At high temperatures, beta lactoglobulin can form a layer over the casein missiles that prevents curd formation in cheese. Denaturation due to heat treatment causes a change in the physical structure of proteins but generally does not affect the amino acid compositions. Severe heat treatment such as ultra-high pasteurization may cause some damage to heat-sensitive amino acid and slightly decrease the nutritional content of the milk. The whey protein alpha-lactoglobulin, however, is very heat-stable. Changes in the size of casein missiles On reaching a certain temperature level, the beta-lactoglobin denatures and binds with kappa casein via disulfide bond. Later on, the casein missile size were observed to be increased. After 25 minutes of heat treatment, the casein missiles obtained maximum size. Next is the acid-induced casein whey gel formation. This is a very important part of this section. Acid-induced casein gels are simple model system used for yogurt and other fermented dairy products. These systems are of importance for providing a scientific framework for gel structures formed via acidification of milk or caseinate solutions. Acidification is done in these systems either with bacterial cultures or gluconodelta delta lacrin, which is also known as GDL, resulting in aggregation of casein. As pH drops to an isoelectric point of casein, it becomes unstable and coagulates to form a firm gel composed of strands of casein. These caseins with whey protein entrapped within this matrix form a protein network. Here I have given a picture for you to understand very neatly and very thoroughly. Uh, this picture depicts whey protein and casein missiles associations in order to form a whey casein gel. Okay, so first on heating, whey protein denatures and the beta lactoglobulin. Uh, separate which is known as a whey protein practical it, it separates and it forms a diasulf uh, it forms a bond with the kappa casein of the casein missiles via disulfide bond and both of them get associated so the denatured whey protein come and get associated with the casein missiles and later on with the increasing temperatures it forms a gel and later it finally becomes the whey casein gel Thank you. I hope you understand uh, this section thoroughly uh, and I'm, I hope uh, I made this points are very clearly. If you have any doubts, please drop comments. Thank you.